of the Ministry of Children, Gender Affairs and Social Development in the person of Honorable Mrs. Ngozi Eni, and then the Ministry at large. Today will indeed be a memorial in the collaborative effort for gender equality, gender mainstreaming, and women economic empowerment. It is pertinent to note that the WE policy came into being during the last administration of um, His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, the last president of Nigeria. That was when the WE policy was introduced. Then, but this present dispensation saw it very necessary to continue with the policy in line with its domestication, and the Enugu state has been chosen as one of the pilot states. So all it shows is that there, there is that political will. And for any government policy or plan to succeed, there must be political will. That is why we are all gathered here to participate and form the technical working group. So it is expected that all the various relevant MDAs and stakeholders gathered here will brainstorm, share experience based on the, based on the thematic areas in their mandates, and at the end of the day, develop strategic policies and action plans towards the domestication of the policy in line with the pe peculiarities as is inherent in Enugu state. As earlier outlined, women as one of the gen gender groups are very vulnerable. And so they need economic empowerment to boost them in not just family affair, but nationwide at large. So the empowerment of women will assist in wealth and job creations, which will also help them in nation building and sustainable development. It might interest us as well to note that the state government, under the administration of His Excellency Barry Sapitan Dubisimba, has a lot of government, inter government interventions in the area of gender mainstreaming, gender equality, women empowerment, person living with disability, child protection, child administration. So I'm, I am convinced that the action plan all of us will brainstorm today and develop will go a long way and serve as basis of domestication of the policy to the needs of women in Enugu State. And so on this note, on behalf of the Honorable Commissioner, I welcome all the relevant MDAs gathered here, all the relevant stakeholders gathered here. I believe that as, as we share out experience, as we brainstorm, as we discuss issues in line with the thematic areas in our ministries, because the women, the WE policy was, um, was, 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 was adopted based on five areas. So we've invited relevant MDAs to come and join us because the issue of women economic empowerment is not just a one-ten affair. Government can do it alone. MDAs can work alone. CSOs can work alone. It is a, it is a partnership affair, a collaborative affair. So I believe that we are all gathered here for that purpose. So on this note, on behalf of the commissioner and then the ministry at large, I welcome all and urge us to delve into discussions, seeking collaborative approaches to the success of domestication of WE policy in Enugu State. So on this note, I, 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 I inaugurate this technical working group and welcome all and wish us fruitful deliberations. Thank you.